Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. <laughs> Hi guys, it's your pontiff, Archie Luxury, on the Paul Pruda channel. Today, guys, I am doing a paid review. This is paid review 21QB32 and a quick, 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 quick wristwatch check. What am I wearing today? Rolex Submarina. Rolex Submarina. That's correct, guys. Here we go. Hey, Paul, I hope all is well. It's been a while since my last review, so I thought I'd share the current collection. I've had some real ups and downs along the way, and for a while fell into the hype that is Rolex. Now, after some chopping and changing, I have three models, and I will eventually add another one or two tops. The old Amiga was my grandfather's, and the Roll Gold Navi Timer was my father's. The Tudor is currently on its way out and will be replaced uh, will, will be replaced something just not sure what yet maybe the new panda tutor or i might go pre-owned brightling premiere panda thoughts appreciated moving forward for the collection i'd like to add a zenith chronomeister sport an omega professional moon phase i did have the blue dial but moved it on a pam 10.58 and a GMT Batman. Any suggestions welcome? Anything you'd change or not? Paul, anyhow, you said you needed some cash. I've thrown you a hundred bucks. Keep up the good work and don't let the others get you down. All the best, Lee. So there we go. Very nice guy. Very, very lovely guy. Sent me a nice uh, stack there of money. Thank you, I appreciate it. And let's have a bit of a talk here. What has he got here? Um, so he's currently... Um, okay, so now after some change, I have three models and we'll eventually add another. What's he, what's he got here? He's got three models. Sorry, I don't, I don't quite understand. You had, you, you... Uh, I don't understand. What does he mean? What does he mean? He had three models. Um, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so this is... A, I'm a bit lost here. Does he have... He sent me some pictures. Uh, these are what he has, or what are they exactly? So let's... Let's have a look and see what he's got. And we'll decide whether they are worthy of having in the collection so let's let's have a look here so he's got he's got quite a few interesting pieces it's an interesting sort of a collection there so he sent me some pics had some real up and downs while i fell into the rolex hype now after some chopping and changing i have three models oh three models of rolex of course three models okay he's got three rolexes there we go Okie dokie. Uh, and I will eventually add another one or two tops. Oh, of course, he's talking about the Rolex. Good, 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 good. So let's have a look at this collection and see see what we think there. The old... So, so okay, let's have a look at his collection. What's he got here? Well, we can see he's got a... He's got a, a sea dweller. He's got the red sea dweller. That's the ceramic sea dweller. Which, I got to tell you... That is a beautiful, beautiful Rolex. That's quintessential. Thirty, sorry, forty-three mils, big size, nice piece indeed. There. So, firstly, we've got to say well done on that watch there. Then, in the next photo, he's got a Zenith Chronomeister. He's got the three coloured eyes. Uh, I wish it would have given me a bit more detail of what you've got here because i 
I, 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 I think I know what you got, but it's always good to just tell me what you've got so I, I can reference it. So I'm not, I think this is the 38 mil one, I think. And right next to it, he's got a, what is this? This is a, oh, he's got a date just. Okay, that looks like it might be a 36 mil. So he's got the Zenith L Premier. Actually, I love the Zenith. The Zenith is a good one. The Zenith is very good. That's the steel El Primero, beautiful. He's got a Rolex. I thought I thought it might have been okay. That's I was wrong. It's a Datejust, beautiful. Nothing wrong with that Datejust there. That's a beautiful piece. Then he's got the Tudor, the Tudor. Um, this looks like a kind of a what is it? A Tiger, a Tiger Woods Tudor. Um, I don't hate the Tudor. I don't hate the Tudor. Let's let's just back the truck up. Then I'm just going to go down. He's got an a uh, Rolex GMT Master II, black, 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 which I actually do like. I do like the black, black, black. That is actually a very cool GMT function. That's good. The Omega. He said that that was his grandfather's. That's the little Omega. It's a Seamaster. Uh, well, that's good. That tells a story. Then he sent me a photo of moving forward. I'd like to add to the collection. Now, does does he own this? So that that Omega Seamaster. That's the world. Time. I think he's got that one. Yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of. Cool. It's probably not my cup of tea, but yeah, it's 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 okay. We've also got an Omega Speedmaster Professional. Yes, that looks like a one eight six one. Sorry, an eight six one. I think it's an eight six one. Looks a bit vintagey. I think it might even be a tritium. Is it tritium? Let me have a look here. It can't. Oh, Swiss made. Oh, T. It's got a T. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. There. He's got a C Master, a C Master with the wave dial, and then of course we've got his dad's Breitling. If only his dad would have had the steel Breitling instead of the gold capped, the rolled gold. So basically. This is like, he calls it, I think it's capped. I don't know if it's rolled gold. It's a thick layer of gold, but it's not a solid gold watch. The giveaway with these, if you look at the back, they often have a steel back. That's kind of what they did with those ones there. Uh, if only it was steel, it would have been far more valuable, but it's still, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, uh, what do I think there? What do I think? Well, I got to be honest with you. I think, excluding your heirloom watches, there, I, I kind of think you may be going. Do I? I don't know if I like the the World Time Omega, the Seamaster World Time. It's not a terrible watch, but it just doesn't, I, I don't know what it is. It just, it's a big monster sort of watch there. I like the Rolex. I like the Zenith. I don't even mind the Tudor. I don't know if I'd be getting rid of the Tudor. Why are you replacing the Tudor? You want to replace it with a new Panda? Oh, that's, that's not, I'd. I'd be inclined to keep the vintage Tudor. I wouldn't be... I think that's a dumb move. It's a very silly move to do that. There we go. I've said it. It's a dumb move. Don't sell the Tudor. Don't sell the Tudor. I would keep that Tudor. I think it's got far more investment. It's... it's, it's I think this is kind of like a Tiger, early, late 90s, early 2000s Tudor. I actually like these. These are very reminiscent of the Daytona. So I'd, 
I reckon I'd keep that. Um, then looking at this here, you're saying you'd you're thinking of adding a chrono. Jesus, this number is so. I got to be totally honest with you. As far as Zenith goes, you got enough. Enough Zenith. No more Zenith. That's enough. And the Amiga Professional Moon Phase. Uh, yeah, that, that you don't need that. And a Pam ten fifty eight. I got to be totally honest with you. I not really thinking I'd go down that Pam route. There, there's a few duds in the collection. You have gone for pieces that I am a bit worried whether they will retain value. I'm worried they'll retain value or not. The Pam 1058, I've got to be honest with you, I think I would stay away from that. I would set the GMT Batman, I don't know if you need a Batman. Do you need a Batman if you've got the black, black, black? Actually, the Pam 1058, I love the blue, but i got to be totally honest with you. You're going to be losing money. Do not buy Pam. i got to be honest with you. I didn't want to say this. You're a nice guy, Philip. You're a nice guy. You're kind. It's Lee. Sorry, Lee. You're actually a kind guy. You're a nice guy. But you're buying duds. You're buying duds. Okay? When I say you're buying duds, stay away from that Pam. Stay away from that Amiga moon phase. Stay away from another Zenith, man. You have been hitting the stupid stick. And I think it's it's crazy. What you were trying to do there, man, is ridiculous. Don't do that. Don't do that. What would I get if I were you? You know what I would do? I'd get rid of that bloody... I don't like that Seamaster World time, man. I don't know why you bought that. I... I, I can't really get my head around it. I'm sorry. I, I love a world time. I got a paddock world time, but I'm not feeling the love for it. Um, I like the Zenith. Oh, you know what I'd do if I were you? I'll tell you what I would do. She's, I, I reckon keep the tuner. Keep the tuner. The tuner. Your Rolexes stay. Three Rolexes stay. That's the backbone of this collection. The Zenith must stay. I love that Zenith Chronomeister. Don't add any more Zenith spot. The Tuner, okay. Get rid of the Tuner, okay. Get rid of the Seamaster World Time. Keep the two Omegas. That's the Speedmaster and the Seamaster. That's the... No, I'm not talking Grandad's one. I'm talking your one. Get rid of the bloody World Time one. What would I get? Get Rolex! Get Rolex. Seriously? You're going to retain your money with Rolex. Get out of those. Uh, get out of the Amiga. Get out of that Tudor. Get Rolex. 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 Rolex Steel Sports. Rolex Steel Sports. That's what I would do. Yeah, I got to tell you, man. The Tudor. Okay, get rid of it. Get rid of that stupid World Time Omega. I don't like it. Do not buy more tuners. You want to get Rolex, Rolex. So, just to recap, you don't need another Zenith. You don't need another Amiga Professional Moon Phase. You don't definitely don't get a Pam. You're going to hemorrhage money. A ba GMT Batman. I don't mind. I don't care what the hell you get in Rolex. Please get Rolex, man. Get Rolex. You need Rolex. You need Lolex, please. You need to get Rolex. That's what you need. Because you're buying duds. These duds are not going anywhere. They're duds. They're duds. They're not studs. Okay, so, yeah, that's my advice. Get Steel Sports Rolex. That's what I would do. I don't care. You get any, Instead of getting a a, um, a Batman, I reckon get a GMT. I'd get a, sorry, get a, uh, I would get a Explorer 2. Explorer 2, because they're good bang per buck. Go to David SW, go there, get your stuff done. That's what I'd be doing. Get Rolex, because you're making mistakes. It's going to cost you money. That's exactly what I would do. 100%. Yeah, fix up this disaster, and let's get become winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
Guys, that's the review for today. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some comments below. Good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was a bad collection. I just think he's just buying some dog shit. And uh, stay away from... Man, you've got enough... You've done enough stupid things. Stick to Rolex Steel Sports. Guys, if you want a paid review, like... Like this one here, please, guys. PayPal me 50 US dollars. Details below in the description. Send me the details to archieluxury72 at gmail.com. Remember, I can't survive on Google Ads. I need the paid reviews to survive. Don't forget, guys, Patreons. My Patreons, I give them special service as well. Patreons get special service from the pontiff. Patreons, that's one way you can ensure that I stay on YouTube. Okay, guys, catch ya in the next one. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends, and don't be afraid to get a paid review. 50 US dollars for a paid review. It helps me stay full time on YouTube, and I will see you in the next one. 50 US dollars paid review. I can't survive on Google Ads. I need your support. And guys, you could also sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on YouTube. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys. Amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.